welcome back to another vlog yes i am vlogging today i feel like it's been so long since i've uploaded like a proper vlog for you guys i have attempted to vlog i promise you guys i have but i just do this thing where i go to edit the footage and i just think like okay this is really boring like they're not gonna like this so i don't end up uploading which i know sounds crazy because i know you guys are gonna enjoy the vlog whether i'm doing something exciting or not but that's just I don't know, I'm a perfectionist and I just want to give you guys like something exciting to watch. But I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what, we're just going to pick up the camera, go with it. Typical day in the life of Lizelle, you guys can see what I get up to. Today I am just going to be going grocery shopping and I have to run a couple of errands. Like there's some things I need to go and get. Before I forget though, I want to give one of you guys a shout out because you are the whole reason why... I decided to vlog today okay so shout out to your username is little nina and you are actually expecting so congratulations girl on your pregnancy but to be honest you are the whole reason why i decided to vlog today when i received your comment saying that you wanted more vlogs to watch during your maternity leave i was like okay that's enough motivation for me to get off my ass and actually film a vlog for you guys so thank you for the motivation. Anyways, like I said, I am going to be going grocery shopping today. I'm sitting on this couch. I never sit on this couch. I always sit on that one, but I'm sitting here because I'm trying to charge my phone real quick before I leave. Um, it's currently five past 12 and I still have to go grocery shopping and then go to the mall to go and run some errands and pick some things up. So that is what my plan is for today. Honestly, today is not going to be one of those vlogs where it's like exciting and I'm gonna be doing things. I'm literally just bringing you guys along with me. But anyways, I think my phone should be good. What are we on, 46%? Can that last throughout the day? I mean, I hope it does. I guess I can charge it in the car, so let's go. So I don't know if it's the same everywhere else, but all of the grocery stores here now, they don't give you plastic bags, so you have to bring your own. I just realized that it says that they'll replace it if it gets damaged, like, okay, if you say so. Um, I don't know where all my other ones are. I'm pretty sure I have at least five of these, but I can only find one, so I'm going to have to buy more, which sucks, but... Um, that's all good. Okay, so I have another one in the back of my car. Goodness me, my car is a mess. If I have time, I'm definitely going to need to vacuum my car because it's it's disgusting. In other news though, it is such a beautiful day outside today. I feel like for the past few days, the weather's been really warming up. Like, let me check the temperature. Today it is 23 degrees Celsius or 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Which, I mean, in the middle of winter, that's pretty damn good if you ask me. So I'm happy because I am so over the cold weather. I do like winter because I feel like you can dress up more, but I just feel like summer is where it's at. I was born in summer, which I was thinking about this the other week, right? See, I was born in summer. January is when my birthday is. But for half of the world, that's like in the middle of winter. But I've always considered myself a summer baby because I was born in the middle of summer. But technically I wasn't if I was born somewhere else. So yeah, I was just thinking about that because I've always considered myself like, yeah, I'm a summer baby. All right, so let's go. Oh, it's such a nice day today. There's like not a single cloud in the sky. If I could show you guys right now, it's so clear. Wait, did I bring my wallet? This happens to me every single time. Okay, yeah, I did. Forgetful ass. It's such a thing for me. Like, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I'll like, have my music really loud when I'm driving but then if I'm looking for a parking spot I need to turn it right down to like concentrate <laughs> even though like it's not gonna like change anything like I'm not gonna find a parking spot better if I turn the music down but I just think it's funny because I always do it
Oh my goodness, okay. Grocery shopping is done. Now I have to go home, drop off my groceries because I have like cold things in there and then I gotta go back out again to go to the mall to pick up some things and then I have to go and pick up a package at another mall, which is like, ah, it honestly feels like summer. I'm not even kidding. Like I feel like I was just complaining about how cold it was a couple of days ago and now it's like sunny as hell and it's hot. Fun fact about me is I don't really know, like I'm not very good at parking front on. I'm a lot better at reverse parking than forward parking, if that makes sense. I don't know why, I just feel like it's a lot quicker and easier to reverse park than to try and like maneuver your way in when you're going in head first, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm gonna get out, unpack all of these groceries. Okay, let's see what, oh, oh, nearly fell over. <laughs> let's see what groceries I got. So I really wanna make sinigang tonight, which if you don't know, um, it's like a Filipino dish, like a soup-based dish. Um, so I got some bok choy and then some of the tamarind soup base. Um, also got me some bread because I always like to eat bread. Tomatoes as well for the soup. Um, eggs. Well, we're getting to the good stuff. <laughs> chocolate because I have a problem and I can't not have chocolate in the house. Oreos. Yeah, I got two of them because I don't know. Um, bacon, ham, pasta, because I always like to have, um, like, pasta in stock, like, in the, in the pantry. I just feel like it's easy. It's, like, an easy meal to make if I don't know what to eat. Um, cheese, mint as well. I typically buy my meat, and then I just keep it in the freezer for, like, when I actually want to use it. I just defrost it when I need it. And, of course, pork belly for the sinigang. And this one, I got some quick oats. I just feel like these are really easy on the mornings when I'm feeling lazy and it's cold. It's just like quick and easy to make. I got some floor disinfectant because I need to mop the floors. Um, vinegar, because that's always good to have. What do you call these? They're like just the pasta sauces, I guess. Dry shampoo, because I ran out. I need to use that now, actually. And then my soy milk because you guys know that i always have coffee all right so now i have the task of putting this all away now that all of my groceries are put away it is currently five to two and i have to go out again which all i want to do right now is just like sit and eat whenever i go grocery shopping it's so bad because i just like want to eat everything that i bought straight away but I still have to go get these things done. So it's about to be two. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long. I feel like I'm going to be stuck in peak hour traffic though. Because it is that time when people like go and pick up their kids from school. We'll see how it goes though. But yeah, time to go out again. Body in that. What made me think of body gang, girl? And I switch it up with a new thing. Young nigga can't go on a school tank. I just got to my car. I didn't vlog inside. I didn't even bring my camera inside just because I knew it wasn't gonna vlog in there. Let me show you guys what I ended up getting. I literally came here just for this one thing. It's from Mecca. Face wash. Demologica face wash. I feel like my face has been breaking out lately because I've been using a different one. This stuff is pretty expensive like for a face wash. Yeah, it's expensive. It's like $56 for this, but of course it's the only thing that my skin likes, so I had to pick it up. I also got a um, 
a beauty loop box. I swear every single time I shop at Mecca, they have the beauty loop boxes. If I'm being honest, I don't really buy much makeup anymore because clearly I don't need any more than what I already have. Um, but let's see what I got. Face scrub? Maybe I need that. Maybe that's going to help me with my breakouts. Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I used to use this stuff all the time, actually. And a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Let's Go Crazy. What is the shade? Let me see. It's like a red magenta pink shade. Yeah. And a Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Ooh, actually, I need this because I'm on the hunt for like... A good eye cream probably because I'm getting old I'm like trying to find like what kind of eye cream would work best for me anyway I have to go now to another mall where my parcel locker is because apparently yeah I have a text telling me that I wait where is it did I get a text oh yeah I was like did I just imagine that no I have a text telling me that I have a parcel to pick up so I am gonna go do that now it's currently quarter past three I just have to go and get this one parcel and then I can go home and relax and cook my dinner where is my ticket I swear I do this every single time I don't know if this is like the same everywhere else but most of the malls here you have to pay for parking so I get to the boom gate and I'm like rushing around to find my ticket I've got it ready so I'm prepared Your locker is to the right. Please collect your parcel. I just got home it is almost 5 p.m at this point i'm tired man like i was driving home and the sun was like in my face the entire time and i was just like falling asleep as i was driving which is really bad and honestly all i want to do right now is take a nap but i have to go to bed really early this evening because i do have work very early tomorrow morning so i think now I'm going to take some um, painkillers because I have a little bit of a headache. And then I'm going to cook myself some um, some dinner. I feel like the soup will probably be good for me with the way that I'm feeling right now. I just feel like really out of it. I think I'm just tired. So yeah, I've got to organize this mess that I've just made on the table. And then I'm going to get ready to cook. I just got back to the house. I had to go out specifically to get fish sauce because I forgot to buy it today of course I swear every time I go grocery shopping there's always one thing that I forget and it's the thing that I need the most but right now I'm gonna start cooking I'm gonna show you guys how I make my sinigang I feel like I haven't really perfected the art of making sinigang but it's been much requested by somebody for me to show you guys how to make it so yeah I'm gonna show you guys the way that I do it so for ingredients I like to use pork belly just because I feel like there's more meat and you don't have to deal with bones but I know that some people do prefer to use like pork on the bone so that's like the main thing is like you need some meat I also like to put a heap of these leafy greens I'm pretty sure these are bok choy you know how there's like so many different kinds of these leafy greens tomatoes of course you can't have sinigang without tomatoes onion garlic and of course the tamarind soup base this is what makes it taste the way that sinigang is supposed to taste so let me just chop all these ingredients up and then i'll show you the actual process of me making it all right just quickly before i start chopping up these ingredients i want to say like i never knew that people don't rinse their vegetables and like wash their vegetables before they cook with it. I feel like it's necessary like you have to clean them before you start cooking them because if you think about it they've been sitting on the shelf, people have been touching them and I'm sure they spray it with some kind of stuff to help preserve them in a way. So yeah I just wanted to like give that PSA is that if you don't wash your vegetables before you use them you need to get on that. Okay so I have all my ingredients prepared. I'm telling you my mouth is already watering just like 
thinking about eating this. I cut up my tomatoes, I cut them into like little wedges, quartered the onions, crushed up some garlic and just like chopped it really roughly. I cut the pork belly into like, I don't know, little bits that size, I don't know how to describe it. And I just chopped the ends off of the vegetables. So I'm just gonna um, turn the pot on, put it on low and then wait for it to heat up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna start off by putting some oil into the pot. I just like to use 100% pure rice bran oil. I don't know, my mom always uses this, so I guess I use it as well. Just gonna put a bit into there. Okay, so now that the pot is pretty warm, I'm going to just add the onion and garlic in first and let those like saute a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the tomato afterwards. Oh, and if you're wondering, I used a whole onion and three or two cloves of garlic. And this is two tomatoes. So now that that's kind of brown, I'm just going to add the tomato in. Some of you may be wondering why I'm cooking so much, if it's just for me. Yeah, I am going to be the only one eating this, but I like to have leftovers. So typically, if I want to cook like a specific dish for myself, whether it be this or like pasta or something, I try and cook enough to last me like at least two days so I don't have to worry about cooking dinner the next night. And I also feel like sinigang tastes better when it's like the next day because everything has had a chance to like settle in all the flavors and the meat tastes better, it's more tender. So yeah, I just prefer to make like a decent amount for myself so then I don't have to worry about cooking a new dish every single night. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit in there and do its thing. I need to get my fish sauce actually. All right, so that's getting nice and soft now. I just added in some fish sauce. I put about three tablespoons. I know some people don't like fish sauce, but it just makes it taste good, you know? But anyway, now that this is getting all nice and soft, as you can see, the tomatoes are like, yeah, they're pretty softened. So I'm gonna add the meat in. Okay, so I'm just mixing up the meat with the tomatoes and onion getting it all nice and coated in that flavor but i'm gonna put the lid on and just let it um simmer and do its thing and let the meat get like a little brown as well it's been five minutes i'm just gonna mix this around just a little as you can see the um meat has kind of like made its own water which is a good thing so all those flavors are mixing around in there, so I'm going to put the lid back on and then wait another five minutes. And then I'm going to add the water to make like the soup. Okay, at this point, all that flavor is in there. Now I'm going to add the soup. <laughs> yes, I'm just adding water on top. I mean, this is like the base of the soup, obviously. So I'm just going to add enough to like cover all the meat and then i'm gonna leave that on there again put the lid on and just leave it to tenderize the meat even more so i just checked the meat to make sure that it was like nice and tender so that's looking pretty good now what i'm gonna do is add in the packet of tamarind soup base i know like traditional sinigang is all about like using the real tamarind but to be honest this is like so much easier, but essentially this is just like a powder, like a sachet mix. So we're just going to sprinkle that all in there. Yes, this is like the best part. And then mix, mix. So we're just gonna let that sit for like five minutes just to get the flavor in amongst the meat. Oh my goodness, I just had a taste and it tastes so good. But what I'm gonna do now is add in the greens because it's pretty much ready. So just wanna put those in, let them wilt a little. I know some people like to put, um, you know, like okra, string beans, that kind of thing. I just prefer like the leafy greens. So I'm gonna let that do its thing and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Also, if you guys are wondering like what I'm gonna eat this with, I did of course already cook myself some rice. I mean, you can't have sinigang without rice. Like it just, you can't. So that's pretty much it guys. That's um 
how it looks once the veggies are all, you know, wilted up in there. And um, yeah, I'm ready to eat because my mouth is watering. <laughs> there we have it guys, my dinner is served, my soup with my meat, veggies and rice. I honestly feel like out of all Filipino dishes, sinigang is one of the easiest to make. Just because all you have to do is prep your ingredients, throw them in the pot and let them simmer. Like it's not difficult at all. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm really excited to eat it because I'm pretty hungry. So yeah, I'm going to have my dinner now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so full, you guys. And I'm so like relaxed right now. I honestly just wanna to go to sleep, but I need to clean all of this mess. So I'm gonna wash these dishes and clean my kitchen before I head upstairs. I've just been like chilling on the couch watching um, Ninja Warrior. I swear, like this kind of stuff, I'd love to do this stuff, honestly, like obstacle courses and all that. I was such a monkey when I was a kid. So like, I'm really into watching. <laughs> this ninja warrior stuff but i really need to get the kitchen clean go and have a shower and get to bed i also need to put some laundry on so i can put it out on the line so it can dry while i'm at work tomorrow morning but yes before anything i have to clean up this mess so let's get to it the last thing that i always have to do whenever i'm cleaning my kitchen the very last thing is always to like wash the sink as well because I hate when there's like stuff left in the sink I just gotta like scrub the whole damn thing pretty sure everybody does this but I just feel like it's not clean unless you do this I even have to clean the tap as well alrighty I'm satisfied now. <laughs> okay, my kitchen is clean. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed, honestly, but I still have some laundry that I need to hang. So I actually have to hang this. And then I have, I'll probably put one on while I go take a shower, just so that it can be done. And yes, I like to hang my laundry out on the line in the evening so then I don't have to do it during the daytime and then it can like dry as soon as the sun comes up in the morning. It's so funny because I know that in the US you guys don't really hang your clothes out on a line like you all have dryers and it's funny because someone messaged me and was like in your home tour like you don't have a dryer where do you put like how do you dry your clothes? I feel like I've never been one to use the dryer and I like I remember growing up my parents did have a dryer but they were always like don't use it it's too expensive to use I guess like the electricity bill I don't know I don't have a dryer myself so I don't know how much they cost to operate but I am gonna go outside and hang this goodness me it is chilly outside I feel like I was saying today how hot it was and now apparently there's like another cold snap coming, so it's cold. Okay, I have enough time to get one more load of washing done. This is this is my problem, right? Like I have all these plans to get things done. And then here I am, nine o'clock at night. I'm supposed to already be in bed, but I'm still doing things. But it's weird, because I was just thinking to myself as I was like hanging my laundry out on the line, is that like I need deadlines if I don't have like a deadline to say like oh you need to be in bed by this time because you have to go to work tomorrow then I end up doing nothing so that's just how I work like I need deadlines to keep me accountable and keep me um, productive I have an itchy nose this is my life you guys like I am the most boring person i feel like when i was in a relationship before i had like at least somebody else to vlog but now that it's just me i'm like what am i supposed to do you know <laughs> but i know that you guys enjoy the vlogs regardless of whether i'm like doing something or not so i feel like today has been a pretty productive day for me it all worked out well i'm just like rushing to get to bed which is new because usually I, I don't go to bed until like 
This is gonna sound really bad, but I didn't go to bed till like 3 a.m. most nights. So the fact that I will be going to bed before midnight is like a miracle in itself because yeah, I don't go to bed early. Oh, I left my laundry powder in the car. I got some today. All right, I've got the laundry powder. It is very difficult to vlog while I'm like doing things. But I'm trying, okay? When you go to open something and it just does that. That is not how it's supposed to work. That is so unsatisfying. Okay. When the scooper is at the top. Oh yes, you don't have to go digging for it. Okay, let me put this laundry on and I'll be back. Okay guys, I have put my laundry on. I think it's like 9.30 at this point. Maybe even later than that. I really need to get ready to go to bed. I'm like out of breath for some reason. I feel like rushing. Oh my goodness, I hear a beeping noise. Does that mean I left my straightener on all day? Man. I did. Oh. I'm lucky that my straightener, like, it stays on, but it just beeps. It doesn't keep the heat. It turns the heat off automatically, but it stays on and beeps to let you know that you left it on. So it's like, ugh. Anyways, guys, like I was saying, I am going to say goodnight to you because I do have to get ready to go to bed, like I've been saying for the past, like, two hours. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Super like productive for me but kind of uneventful because it really wasn't anything exciting but I know you guys enjoy watching me get up to random stuff regardless also while I'm here I just wanted to take the time to say thank you so much to those of you guys who left comments on my previous video which was the tour of my home I was honestly kind of nervous to put that video up just because I didn't want anybody to kind of take it the wrong way and see it as me bragging about the things that I have and, and whatnot, which I haven't gotten any negativity from it so far. And I'm just so lucky that my subscribers are so like nice and genuine. And I know that you guys wouldn't do that anyway, but I was like, I don't know, I was just nervous to put that video up, but I've been getting the nicest comments from you guys. So I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. Anyways, my camera is actually dying. The battery has been flashing at me for the past like 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna say good night. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you're watching right now this is the end if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed you know that you better hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos anyways with that being said i will catch you guys in my next video Okay, she giving me love, but it fuck my energy up Every time it's finna be summer, only got the memories of us And now we industry lovers, they making enemies of us I mean, them times we in public, they drain this energy from us